Uh, rationalization is a nice business term. I uh, don't think you appreciate it if you're the one that you're losing your job in the factory. Uh, but companies have to figure out how to match uh, what they supply with where the demand is. If the demand uh, drops suddenly from uh, 15 or 16 million dollar cars that you sell a year in North America to uh, 9 or 10, obviously your capacity has to adjust it and that's what we will call rationalization. It's very important that that rationalization has to happen carefully. Uh, it could be that some companies might overreact and cut a lot more capacity than needed, which is hurting suppliers even more. So when uh, you see the demand dropping by 10% and you're adjusting by reducing your capacity by 20%, the supplier now suddenly sees a 20 to 30% drop in their demand and they have to adjust by 50%. But 50% will drive them out of business. So we got to make sure that some of the suppliers are well supported in order to be there in the longer term, otherwise uh, ramping up will get extremely expensive. Uh, we forget the dependency between industries. So the, the suppliers for the car industry might also be supplying the defense industry. And we need, uh, so if we lose uh, suppliers in that industry that require certain type of skills, it could be also we are losing the pool of uh, skills in that particular area which weakens other industries. So we got to look at it in a broader perspective. Actually, the banks should not be just helping banks, the government should not just be helping banks, but should be helping some suppliers in certain manufacturing industries because they're equally essential for the economy of the country. Well, um, it is the end of an era in the uh, U.S. auto industry. Is it the end of an era for American manufacturing? Many people will say that we have seen the worst times. Quite a lot of manufacturing that was not cost effective in North America has already shifted in other parts of the world. Actually, now we see the other uh, swing of the pendulum. Uh, as certain uh, emerging markets, uh, they have the inflation pressures. As their currencies have strengthened, they are not attractive as much, and we see some manufacturing get shifted back uh, to North America. The American manufacturing uh, is going to stay around the level that it is. What gets made in uh, North America has to be products that uh, are responding to a market that is shifting faster, uh, that uh, are more technology driven, and therefore proximity to the market and the presence of a high level of uh, worker skills are absolutely necessary to deliver a quality product.